uh, most people chose their family members or some sort of relative, but uh, I chose one of my buddies, David Strauss, I don't know if you know him, he went here for about a year. Uh, I met him back in the third grade in football, back when I could whip his tail before he grew 6'4", four, <laughs> he's a freak of nature now. Uh, back in, uh, I met his dad, and his dad got kicked off from the football team as a coach because he was a cousin of because of man. I was only about eight years old, but I heard a whole lot of F-bombs. <laughs> uh, we went on to about fifth grade, going into middle school, and that's when we really got to know each other with football. And uh, I'll be honest with you, we gave our middle school a whole lot of cane. Uh, in sixth grade, I don't know, I guess you could say, we always talk about how we was the kings of our middle school. Because we did, we ran that place, we did, we did pretty good at it. <laughs> um, in sixth grade, we do like, you know how we have them spirit week things here? Well, in sixth grade, we thought it'd be funny to dress up as women. <laughs> and uh, so, to make it more realistic, we saw a couple of like, apples from uh, the lunchroom. <laughs> Stuffed them down our shirts, and we got in trouble for stealing, but I mean, like, we gave a bunch of people a bunch of smiles and laughs. You know, seventh grade, uh, we started throwing parties, and in just middle school, we had like 80 people show out and stuff like that. Not school, but, uh, honest to God, he's a. Uh, <laughs> He's probably one of the strongest people I know because when I really did become friends with him, I learned that his dad and his mom had split up. And when his mom split up, she got an abusive boyfriend. So he was beaten and constantly fighting with his mom's boyfriend. And shortly after that, his dad had uh, gone to jail for I was about freshman year here. And when finally all the smoke cleared up and he's uh, got a stable relationship with his dad again. Our friend died just before he could see 19 uh, in a car accident. Which I'm surprised he wasn't drunk because he did. He was kind of known for drinking and driving. But uh, he finally decided to get to a, a better life there for a while, so they kind of sucked to see him go. Um, but me and him, I guess we just kind of grew strong in our relationship because, you know. Life hits like a free train on cocaine. <laughs> it does. I mean, let's be honest, it does. But uh, I ain't one of the serious talk. So I'm gonna just tell y'all a little bit why we're kind of considered dangerous when we're together. <laughs> so uh, back in middle school, well, I guess that was really the highlight of our friendship in middle school. <laughs> but uh, his granddad, he, uh, he didn't trust us too well, so when we got done working on the farm, to the dirt bikes, they had mopeds. <laughs> and uh, we just look around looking for something to do and something wild, something fun, something stupid. And uh, we seen this big old dirt pile out in the front yard where we keep all the big equipment. And we figured it'd be fun to get it fast as it can go and try to hit the dirt pile like it would be a dirt bike. And, you know, I was in like seventh grade and I figured Maybe, you know, like, my science wasn't that great, but if I pulled up on it, I might get higher. Well, I come to find out, that's how uh, them stunts people do backflips. Because <laughs> I landed on one wheel and busted my hump, and my hump was pretty bad. Uh, yeah, we was always reckless, but worst thing about us is we rally each other up. So, uh, one day, we took my dad's 9 millimeter into the creek, just looking for something to shoot. The only thing we found to shoot was trees, but uh, I got on my phone and, you know, I was hitting people up trying to figure out something to do. And he got kind of mad at me. He's like, man, come on, we're trying to figure out something to shoot. And he took my phone and we sat there and kind of argued with each other for a little while. And he goes, man, if this phone ain't your life, and he throws it up, he says, shoot it. And so I did, I shot my phone. <laughs> uh, I told my parents we were wrestling and it broke, but, you know, <laughs> that was, I was in seventh grade. I wasn't too bright then. <laughs> um, back in Florida, his granddad took us to Florida to work, and one day we went to the beach. We, uh, we fell asleep, and you know how that goes. You don't wear sunscreen because, you know, you don't want to be, like, considered a wimp. <laughs> <laughs> and we come back looking like Larry the Lobster. <laughs> God, angry. that was rough. Um, I ain't never felt so burnt 
in my life. I felt like Satan touched me. Me and uh, we progressed on to high school, and that's when we really found this place called Jigwater. I'm sure y'all heard of it. Uh, it's a big old creek down there in Madison County, out in uh, the boonies. And uh, we'd go out there, and <laughs> we found this guy who was definitely higher than a kite. But <laughs> he let us drive in the truck, and oh my God, we gave it everything it had. <laughs> sitting there doing something that I, I ain't never seen someone so stupid in my life. This guy let Xavier of all people drive his truck. So he took it out in the middle of the creek and uh, he started he started spinning around and you hear him, the owner of the truck from the uh, side of the bank and he goes, I quit doing them spinnies in my truck. <laughs> so Xavier stopped. You know, he's 6'4", he leans half his body out the window and he goes, well, <laughs> I said, quit doing them spinnies. So I hit the gas again. And I'm in the bed. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it. And I was just getting flustered with water because the bed was all rusted out. So I was just getting a shot with creek water. <laughs> and I fall out of the bed. That guy on me, he that guy on me, run over me. <laughs> and, uh, Instead of coming out and saying sorry, this is just how he tries to fix things. He tries to make it funny because he come out and he touched the top of the tire and said, "Oh my God, Ricky, these are hot." <laughs> <laughs> but uh, although there is some serious parts of our friendship, and we do have serious moments and serious talks and whatnot. I gotta say, uh, most things, uh, the best thing I cherish in our friendship is all the wild memories we give and create, and uh, I look forward to more of the future.